So here's our cheapest spray welding torch uh, on eBay. It's about 130 bucks. Its closest competitor is a Victor, which is around five. Um, then uh, picked up some Victor powder here. And uh, what we gotta do is build this wheel bearing hub up. The nut came loose for the CV axle and the hub was spinning inside the bearing because it wasn't locked tight. So we're gonna try to build that puppy up. This is the uh, very first. We're gonna, just got this thing in the mail, waited about a week for it, and we'll open her up. All right, get her slid out of the box. Here's our nice, everything in Mandarin, you know, because from China. Our instructions all in I'm assuming Mandarin because it's from China got pictures though so we got some tip files got two other spare tips some um, I'm sure amazing Chinese uh, quick disconnects. I uh, definitely don't think I'll trust those. Two powder cups. Difference between this and the Victor and other ones is you gotta fill your powder in here where some of the other ones you'll thread that cup directly on to your torch. Oh, okay. So they're not spare nozzles. They're different size nozzles. Um, even comes with a O-ring rebuild kit, which being grade A Chinese, I'm sure we'll need. And here's our torch. Well, basis of it. And uh, we'll get her assembled and then we'll uh, get her hooked up and see what she does. All right, we kind of got the gun half-ass assembled here. Comes with a very goofy sparker. Uh, but hey, if it works, cool. Um, definitely will not be using the uh, Grade A Chinesium Quick Connects as they don't even snap on or anything. And it's not like they got them different colored here. So they got them different colored here, so I'm assuming one's supposed to be oxygen and acetylene. Doesn't matter which one you go to, there's no snapping on. They're just obviously not even the right receiver for these nipples. So uh, yeah, we're going to take these off and uh, put it directly to the hoses with uh, check valves because we don't want to backfire. So, I took these off. I was going to just put the hoses directly to them, but they are way, way too small. So, we had to get sketchy here. And uh, we put their quick connects on. And I found that uh, if you push them in really, really hard, they snap. And then now I've done it a couple times and they actually snap on quite easily. So, I don't know if they, that big uh, O ring that's down in the bottom of there was. Uh, too, or just a little bit too tall and need to get squished a bit um, but I don't have much confidence in them but we're going to see what happens alright red's the acetylene blues are oxygen that's what I'm going to Curry to pull the metal. So I'd say uh, we're gonna give her a go. So we're gonna put our powder in our cup and see how fine that is. Try not to, uh, we're gonna waste some here, but we're just gonna show you kind of, you can see how fine it is. Fine and super dry. 
All right, we heated our shaft up. Um, 400 degrees is right where you want to be. And that's in freedoms, not communist. All right, so we're gonna give her a shot here. Oh yeah, it's going on. Just a little bit more to go. It does leak a little bit of oil. Alright, so we probably put it on a little thick. Looks all level. So you can see, I ran out of what powder we put in. Hardly any more sparkles coming out of there. Pretty level. I don't know, maybe you can just heat it up red hot and start going because it gets to be red hot. Uh, I just read the bottle of the spray powder and said that it had to be at least 400 degrees, so that's where I got it to pour and started. Uh, we'll see how she turns out. So she's probably been cooling down for a couple minutes now. I bet you it's still pretty hot. Got our thermometer on Freedoms here. We're still 500 and some degrees. I mean, since the, there's a bit of waste with this method. You can see the wasted overspray powder. Obviously, you want to cover the ways your lathe. Um, but yeah. we were, did run out. You can see about how much we used. I mean, I did end up using about half a jar. Um, probably 99% of that's because, one, I don't know what the hell I'm doing. This is an experiment. And so everything's probably set up wrong. But, um, you know, a learning experience doesn't help that um, I'm trying to go off of other uh, people doing it. And they have a different setup, usually a Victor or something else. And this, we have our great Chinesium instructions so but so far things look good just to show you we're clean out that's all that's left so she's cooled down so far so good so the heat wasn't, the spray powder falls off, heat was, it's nice and on there. We're going to try machine her and see what happens. So they make stuff you can put on here, so you don't want it to be, or come off. But if you look, if you didn't have the heat, it don't bond. If you get it in spots that you don't really want, just scrape it right off. see it machines very nicely I could probably get away with high-speed tool steel but uh, I got a carbide insert on there but it is it is cutting like butter you can see we're taking a pretty deep cut here it's just cutting it just nicely there's any chipping or nothing it's just motoring on through her Midway machine. Looking good so far. Nice bond. So, lesson learned. I'm doing it the wrong way. I probably should have cleaned this shaft up before I started spray welding it. It seemed pretty clean because it was worn down to that and bare metal, but 
obviously didn't get good adhesion because as I was turning it down it peeled this right off of there I got it down to about the spec I need now but now I got to go in and clean this up and try building it back up and you can kind of tell on the left side here it's kind of powdery ish kind of half stuck so I don't know if I didn't have it hot enough there probably so live and learn I also don't know if you're supposed to put a bond coat down. I see some require that. This Victor buildup powder, I didn't read anything on that, but I didn't really look that hard. I just kind of read and tried it. So uh, we'll see what happens here on uh, this. We're going to emery her up here. And we'll try again. Alright, so I scrubbed it out. I'm assuming I didn't have enough heat here because a lot of that scrubbed out was still like powdered metal and not bonded. But uh, here I definitely did not have cleaned up. So uh, we're going to give her a go again. Alright, we put the biggest tip on there we got so we can put some more heat into her too. So I realize I'm being stupid. I started to heat it. Can't see it now. But I was going to spray over that, and where it was previously spray welded, started glowing, and nothing else did, which tells me that I don't have adhesion underneath that, and all I'm going to do is build on the crap. So I'm going to take the bit, and we're going to clean her clear way off like I should have from the beginning, instead of half-assing it, and try that. Donut. As you can see now, after it's been heated, you can see how it kind of pries up. So there's no adhesion there. I probably should have prepared it better. Well guys, just actually read the bottle. I don't know if it's part of my problem, but I definitely did not mix before using. And it's right there at the bottom. Mix before using. Alright, we gotta turn down. Mm, we gotta build her up about 70 thou. With a bigger tip, got some preheat into her. Alright, so it didn't look like it was building up that fast, but we need to be about 570, or, well, 1570, and, uh, we're already at, uh, 1660, so I built her up a little much, um, way more heat into it, don't know if that's right, but, uh, it felt right, so, uh, probably wrong then. But uh, we'll let her cool. I'm gonna put her spinning again. Help it cool a little bit. And then uh, we'll turn her down. So, she's cooled down. We can touch her. Seems to be bonded a lot. Better ish, maybe. We're gonna start turning her. So far, maybe we did it right this time. Seems to be turning down. Alright, so you turned her down. Still really dull. I'm sure this is a 100% operator error. I mean, it's hard, but uh, turned it down. It's not seeming right. I slid the bearing wherever it went. Right here. And of course I turned it down about 2,000 too far. So, I don't know. I'm sure I'm going to get some people tell me what to do right. Because I'm 100% doing it wrong. I honestly think this cheap Chinese M torch is doing what it's supposed to do. I'm just not doing what I'm supposed to do because I don't know what I'm doing. I don't know if it's supposed to be a neutral flame 
a carbonized flame, like when you do stainless with oxy you gotta have a carbony flame. Or, you know, I, I'm sure it's 100% me, because when I rub it, it's bonded. It's just rough, like it's just spit welded. So, we'll try her again. <laughs> All right, we tried her again. See what happens. Oh, third time's the charm. Uh, got her faced up here, cleaned up here. The bearing fits on. Got a little bit of a step here so it slides on a little bit, and then the interference fit there, so we should be good. Looks better here in the light. Still a little bit dull, but I'm sure it's a 100% operator error. But it's, it's actually on there this time. Pressed in nice. Now instead of spinning on the hub, the bearing's actually spinning. All put back together. No play. Should work pretty slick. <laughs>